All right, guys, welcome back to Jasper Valley Farms. I've got a little bit of bad news and embarrassing news on my part. Hey, guys. Well, I'm going to be worming these girls today with ivermectin. I'm going to do it orally because there's no way I can hold them and stick them. And it's usually about a one milliliter at 75 pounds. And I'm going to do it this one time and I think they'll be good. We'll see if we can get them to come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. should nibble right on it, and then you just inject it right in. Boom. Dose. Except to come here. This one's a little more skittish. You want that? Huh? You want that? Come here. Up here. Alright. I didn't really want to worm them. But I've noticed a bald spot on her face, and I don't know if that's from rubbing the fence, but I've seen one review that said that it could be worms. And I'd rather them be health, healthy and, and happy. And it says to stick them right there in the neck, but I'm going to try the oral. And that helps with lice and all kinds of stuff. I see a lot of people using it. And I don't have acres to let them run on, so I want to make sure that they're well taken care of. All natural sounds good, but their health being a hundred percent is more important. <laughs> what? You want to play? You want to play? You want to fight? Come on. Are you kidding me? All that? That gun no rock. Quit. And she ain't gaining weight like this when she's just a little bit behind but she's been a little bit smaller the whole time I just want to make sure that that they're taken care of and there's not going to be issues with worms I'll probably do it one time once any pig gets here and when they're born and that way I know they stay healthy this is going to be a challenge. Let's see if I can get it hit. Again. No, this is for your body weight. No. got his now I'll go dose up for the other three and calculate their weight all right we're back to dose the three girls who wants to go first huh Survivor Matron, the 200 pound pigs, right in the mouth. 
long as I get it. We'll do it one time, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on their stool and see how they're doing. I say these four are good. I, I'm a little worried about one of my little gifts. So we'll go ahead and worm. And that way I to get rid of all of our worries. I've got a little bit of bad news and embarrassing news on my part. I wormed the pigs yesterday with the Vimectrin or whatever it's called by I didn't give them a shot I injected it uh, by mouth and after I got back from going to get the the little red pig I went to feeding and uh, it's sort of sad that this was living inside my boar but I'll show you guys and be transparent worms in this poop I walked through the whole field and found two big piles and guys that's neglect on my part I never would have thought he had them never healthy eat stools normal but I learned a valuable lesson I will be worming my pigs at least one time because you never know you know, I've fed I've given them garlic apple cider vinegar and done all the natural stuff they say to do it didn't work I thought maybe he was a little bit down on size, but I, I mean, I was gauging him off the other ones, and they're about a month older, and I can tell his stool apart from the girls, and I've been going out and walking, looking, make sure that their protein's good, and I've seen... The girls is fresh poop and it looks normal and there's nothing in it. And Razor, he got one and a half milliliters. And uh, the rest of the big ones got three. And you can see the girls. Just a little bit of grain, no worms. And I can tell what's fresh and what's not. That right there's somewhat fresh and it looks good uh, this definitely looks fresh uh, there's some mush that may be one of them that just didn't agree with them too well but razors his is a lot smaller in diameter and I mean it's you know you see all this everybody wants all natural but what's a little bit of worming medicine going to hurt I mean it's I mean shoot if they need it give it to them you really don't know if they need it and I think the the little guilt I think she's a little wormy I mean, that's fresh. And there's really nothing in it, so... I'm hoping... that that will take care of it. And I'll probably treat my pigs for worms. Just to be on the safe side. Now, you can't do it right before you slaughter them. But if they're your breeding stock, take care of them. Here's some that they've stepped in. Theirs looks fine. I don't see no problems. Uh, here's some. It's still got grain in it, but no worms. There's some. It's got grain. No worms. But, you know, if you ain't got 
a nice loading chute to where you can corral them up and get them pinned in or wedged in. It looks like some more razors. It does work orally. And a pig can nibble on anything, so while they're nibbling, just give it to them. I mean, their body's going to take it and absorb it. I don't know where it come from. The other ones don't have it, but he did. Oh, I don't know. I know these pigs have done a number. Rooting. I guess they root down to the roots. That's the whole theory behind it. But they have cleaned this whole fence row out completely. There is nothing left. And this was thick, briars, you name it. I mean, it pretty much looked like that stuff right there. All the way through here, and they are just cleaning her out. But I took the stool that had the worms in it, and I removed it. But I'm probably going to isolate them from this section, put them on the far section, and give this a few days to rest, and any parasites that's present, Maybe I give them so many days and that stuff will be gone. But I've walked pretty much the whole pasture out and that's that's all I found. There's some more razors. I don't see nothing in yet. But that's good that we started working on it and that lets me know that the medicine is working. I mean, it's sad on my part, but this is real life stuff. Oh. And the only way that people learn, I guess, is from our mistakes. And I think that pig got into the fence. He'll learn, he'll figure that out quick. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. And just try to be transparent. And let you know that the worm and medicine did help. Razor had had uh, the worms in his poop. And then I think the little ones got it too. I'll have to get over there and mosey around. And see if uh, the medicine's working. 